What's going on guys, Josh Bocock here, and we have covered Notebook LM on this channel a couple different times, and it is a really great tool for being able to create podcast-like conversational audio files with things from the web, things from a PDF, a document, whatever the case may be. The one thing though is it is closed source by Google. So in today's video, we're going to be showing you an open source alternative where you can create these similar podcast-like audio files. This one is 100% open source, so you can host it locally. I'm going to show you how you can do that. Let's dive right into it. All right, guys, so this tool is called Metaskepsis, and this is their official website here. As you can see, you can create a podcast by uploading a PDF right here, and then you simply click on Create Podcasts, and then it's going to generate a random podcast right here, an audio file, and then it's going to generate a last podcast as well. Now, what is the last and the random podcast? Well, once you generate the podcast, you'll be able to provide it feedback, so share your thoughts, and then send feedback, and it has a reflexive self-learning mechanism that is going to improve it based on your prompts and your feedback. So then the last podcast, like let's say if I said keep it more concise or be more direct or go to the point or speak about this, then it's going and then when you generate your next podcast, that last podcast will have the information that you provided it based on the feedback here and you'll be able to improve it over time. Now, I'll leave a link down below to their official website, and it doesn't really seem to be working for me right now using their free version. It says that there uh, is an incorrect OpenAI API key, so uh, maybe when you check it out, if you want to check it out, it will be working. But I'm going to show you how you can self-host the working version locally, which is right here. Link will be in the description. So as you can see, this project implements an automated workflow for creating engaging podcasts from academic text using AI-powered agents. The system takes a PDF file as input, processes its content, and generates an audio podcast with playful banter between a host and a guest. It also includes a self-improving mechanism that optimizes the prompts used in the podcast creation process based on user feedback. All right, if you want, you can go ahead and check out some of the key components and how it works, but we're not going to do that. We're just going to set it up right now. So some of the prerequisites is Python 3.12. Rust cargo is required for jitter installation, UV corn for Python fast API, and then Node.js and NPM for front end, and then OpenAI API key. So first things first is you're going to want to get clone this repo, and then you're going to want to change directory into the repo, and then you're going to want to do the backend setup. So here is what you do. You create and activate a Conda environment so you can run Conda create dash n podcast right here. And then you can activate the Conda environment and then pip inst or install pip right here in the Conda environment. And then you can, or you could just run all the, this one command right here. And then you're going to install UV corn right here. You're going to install the required Python packages. So pip install requirements. And here it says, make sure you install con uh, Rust. Cargo is required for some packages. And then you're going to want to make sure you have your OpenAI API key set up. So either create a .env file like so in the project directory and then put open API key and then add your OpenAI API key right here. Or you can just set this as an environment variable in your actual uh, environment. So uh, if you're on Windows, you can run set X, I believe it is for a permanent environment variable and then OpenAI and then your API key right here. Or if you're on Mac or Linux, you could export it like so and then set that environment variable. Okay, it actually looks like they have a sample environment variable right here. So you could just run this to copy it and then um, change it to .env and then add it uh, your OpenAI API key in there. And once you do that, you are good to go. Next is we're going to set up the front end. So you're going to want to make sure you have Node.js set up. So if you're on Windows, you can download it here. If you're on Mac, you can download it with this command and then Linux like so. And then you're going to want to install the front end dependencies. So you're going to want to be in the main directory of the repo. And then you're going to want to change directory to the front end. So CD front end and then NPM install. Okay. Once you do that, you'll see some information here about the usage. So there's different ways you can actually use this. You could use it in the CLI. You can, you know, read different usage uh, pieces right here. Generate a podcast, generate a podcast with feedback. 
um, run self sim uh, improving simulation, evaluate self improving process, start the web interface. So this is what we're going to do. So once uh, you got the setup done, you're going to want to um, run this UV fast icon, uh, fast API right here. And this is going to start up the back end side of things. As you can see now, the back end is set up. And then you're going to want to open up another terminal into that same repo location. And you're going to want to set, start the front end. So to do that, you're just going to change directory into the front end. Make sure you, you run npm install if you haven't already. And then you run npm start. So now the back end is running on port 8000 and the front end is running on localhost 3000. All right, so I'm going to close the official site and you will see that localhost 3000 has this self hosted on it. All right, so if we go ahead and click on upload documents, we can select a specific PDF. So I'm just going to select this PDF right here, which is one of our pre call PDFs when someone books a call just about our company and whatnot. And then you can simply click on create podcasts. So it's initializing podcast. Now it's processing. Are you tired of pouring thousands of dollars into appointment setters only to watch leads slip away? Imagine having a team of elite sales agents booking qualified appointments for you around the clock. No more wasted time on training, no more frustration with performance, and no more draining your budget on inconsistent and expensive call centers. Introducing Stride Agents. AI powered appointment setters that work 24 seven, never get tired and book appointments while you sleep. Trained on thousands of successful conversations, our AI agents outperform human teams at just one-tenth of the cost. Join the ranks of businesses that doubled their appointments and booking rates in just a matter of weeks. Don't get left behind in the AI revolution. Visit strideagents.com now and transform your entire sales process with cutting-edge AI technology. It's time to accelerate your stride with AI agents. Okay, and now we can see that we have our podcast right here the random podcast as well as the last podcast and this took maybe about 30 seconds so it was fairly quick i've seen it even be quicker before so um that is pretty nice now i'm gonna go ahead and play a few sections of each podcast so you guys can actually hear the quality and the output have you ever felt like you're standing at the edge of a cliff staring into the abyss of entrepreneurship wondering if you'll soar or plummet what if i told you that the difference between success and failure could be as simple as following a structured path. That's such a powerful image. Many feel paralyzed by the fear of failure, but the truth is there's a way to navigate this uncertainty. Take the Executive Stride Accelerator, for example. It's like a lighthouse guiding ships through the stormy seas of business. Okay, so that's the random podcast. Now let's check out the last podcast. Let me ask you this. What if the secret to unlocking your business potential is not just hard work, but a structured system? Surprising, right? Today we're diving into the world of the Executive Stride Accelerator, or ESA. It's a coaching program designed for entrepreneurs who are ready to leap from merely surviving to truly thriving. Absolutely. The ESA is like a compass guiding you through the fog of uncertainty. It's not just about hustle. It's about smart strategies that illuminate the okay so you get the point there um you could go ahead and click on like release audio memory like here all right or you could click on download so now this is going to download the file and then you could also select which one is better so random is better or last is better i'm going to go ahead and say last for this one and then you could also provide feedback right here all right so you can see here it says please provide feedback only if you think it's necessary feedback is processed on the back and takes two to three minutes to be applied so if i want to say more conversational I could say that and then send feedback and there we have it thanks for the feedback you are a helpful gradient etc so that's pretty much it for this tool the one cool thing i think is that it actually is able to self-improve and you're able to provide a feedback so you could customize it more for your specific use case i'm sure if you actually went uh yourself into the some of the code tried a few things played around you could probably make the voices sound a bit more realistic um because yeah they they are good but they're definitely not on the level of notebook LMs. Notebook LMs are just so, um, you know, casual, like human-like, and, you know, they're getting pretty crazy, to be quite honest. But this is definitely good. I know a lot of you guys like open source tools, so you always like to see open source alternatives to some of the closed source ones. So this being open source definitely does have its benefits. And all in all, I really do like the simple UI and the clean process. Now, the one thing, too, uh, the other thing I should say is that 
you really can only process PDFs as of now. If you want to change some of the code and, you know, iterate upon it, you could definitely make it work with other um, types of format or media. But as we know, Notebook LM works with pretty much, you know, almost anything such as uh, YouTube videos, you know, websites, it will scrape them, do all this cool stuff. So you could definitely do this. Like I could foresee how you could do this with this tool by changing a few things, like connecting it with crawl for AI, where it could scrape a website and then feed that information in or do this, do that. But, uh, you know, even the working version right now is pretty good. But let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below, guys. If you're new to the channel, we upload videos every single day on AI, automation, marketing, sales, business growth. So if you like that type of content and you got some value here, make sure to like the video, comment down below, and subscribe to stay up to date with the daily uploads. Also, too, guys, thank you so much for the recent 11K subscribers. We just hit 10K, and now we're at 11K. I really appreciate your guys' support. If you guys haven't joined our free Stride community, I'll leave a link down below, stridecommunity.com, for our free Facebook group and Discord channel. Also, too, guys, if you run a business and you need help growing your business with marketing, sales, automation, implementing AI, AI cold calling, AI call center uh, into your business, then book a call down below. Other than that, guys, I will see you in tomorrow's video. Keep hustling, keep grinding, and, of course, guys, accelerate your stride. Take care.